How are you doing today? In the restaurant industry, things move fast. A lot of people come and go. But Chris Aslam hopes people pause for a moment and see this sign. Even if we put up these signs and it just helps one person, uh, that's absolutely worth it uh, for, for all the efforts uh, that we've put into this. It's an idea that started in his Dallas restaurant after authorities showed up looking for a victim of human trafficking. And they told me she was in the trafficking um, uh, industry and they were trying to give her some help. They never found that woman, but that experience prompted this effort. We have an opportunity to do something about that. Randall White is helping the Greater Dallas Restaurant Association post these signs in as many bathrooms as possible. They hope victims of human trafficking see them and make a call for help. We have actually two different signs we're using. This is one of the two. This one is in English and Spanish. We have another one that will be in English, Spanish, Korean, and Vietnamese. This is fairly passive, and it's got um, information that they can easily remember. And the first chance they can get on the phone, they'll be helped out. Any business that deals with the public has an opportunity to educate. Chris Aslam knows a moment in the bathroom may be one of the only moments a victim has alone. It doesn't matter who you are or, or um, what your feelings are about it. you got to have a heart for, to help these people. And he hopes this new effort will save a life. The one thing that uh, is all of our uh, God-given right should be freedom. The trafficking takes that one uh, human right away. In Dallas, I'm Alex Rosier.